you got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. How are you doing today? You know, we're doing a championship weekend and we're, we didn't do a Know Your Enemy this week. So not great, Kyle. Not great. What? What? What do you want me to do about it? Listen to me complain. That's all I've ever, that's really all I've ever wanted. It's why we started a <laughs> podcast to force people to listen to me complain. Congrats. It's working. Ah. <laughs> I need to adjust all right. my chair just before we start. All okay. Right. Um, we're doing seven games now. Typically on this episode, we do six, but we're doing seven today, Jared. Why are we doing seven, Kyle? I don't want to go over it. I'm still getting over it. Is it because it, we didn't do a know your enemy? It because is. Ohio State isn't want, playing this weekend? I don't want to talk about it. You brought it up. You brought it up. You started it. I will check the tape to decide if that's true or not, but I'm biased. So guess what? It's not. Whatever. All right. Let, let's get, let's, let's go ahead and get started here. Oh, we're going to start off strong. We're going to, we're going to talk about some action, Jared. It's the first time we talked about a Mac school in, a, in our pick -ems. Should should we do this one first or should we do the uh, should we do the Pac-12 game first since it's on a Friday night? Um, yeah, I guess that makes sense. You're ruining the fun, Jared. All right. Uh, Utah and USC for the Pac-12 championship game. Utah, who is the uh, team who is lower ranked, is favored in this game by two and a half points, Jared. Yeah. I mean, to me, that's almost that's almost a pick 'em. That's almost a pick 'em to me. And almost, and you know what? You know I've what? seen I've, I've seen certain books have it at basically a pick 'em. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Buckeye Nation here. We're all we're all Ute fans here, and I'm gonna go with the Utes here. I'll, I'll pick the Utes, and maybe I'm wrong. I'll, I'm probably wrong, but you know what? Fuck it. I'm picking the Utes. <laughs> Kyle, with that yellow pick. Um. Yeah, picking picking with your heart, not your head, potentially, potentially. Um, let me take a look at these teams. You are yeah, USC superior offensively, like by some significant margins, but Utah is better. By the way, uh, guys in the chat, let us know who you want. Once again, it's uh, USC minus two and a half because we don't have a guest picker for this week. So y'all, y'all let us know what you think. Um, Utah is significantly better on the defensive side. So we, ha we have a bit of a mismatch here. Um, if we if we look at the if we look at the spreads, if we look at like how these teams are performing against the spread this year, um, both are. Good. USC eight and four, Utah seven and five. Uh, if we if we look at some of the recent games, uh, Zach says Utah 45, USC 44. Listen, we don't really care if they cover that much, right? Um, the thing about it is, is that. USC has is on a three game winning streak for for against the spread um utah recently lost to to oregon it feels like usc is peaking at the right time unfortunately for ohio state um so i'm, I'm gonna pick with my head not my heart on this one and psych nope not doing it not doing it no i think this is a pick em game i think this is a pick em game when in doubt, choose the underdog. If you're going to give me two and a half points to take either of these team, I'm going to take the two and a half points. All right. That a boy, Jerry. So give me Utah. That a boy. All right. Now we'll talk about some action. Let's talk about some action. Let's talk about Toledo and Ohio. Just Ohio. Just Ohio. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, someone. Stop it. Someone Jared. from the state, Jared, someone Jared. from the state, Jared, yeah. Jared, yeah. 
we're not going there. Someone from the state has to go to a conference championship game. Well, there's two of them here. There's two of them here. <laughs> Thank God for the Mac. And um, yeah, I'm, you know, this week, Jared, because uh, it hasn't been a great year in, in our picks. I, I feel like. No. I feel no. like this is one of our uh, down years of our picks here. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, instead of me trying to go with my head, I'm just going with my heart with all of these picks this week here, Jared. And you know what? Uh, fuck fuck uh, blue and yellow colors. So I'm going with Ohio. Go Bobcats. You know, and they're kind of on the border anyway, if we're being honest. Like, I'm not going to say it's Lita's Michigan, but... Okay. Go you know, Go you know, yeah, by the way, Ohio crushing the line this year, nine and three Toledo, four and eight against the spread, which Toledo is a two and a half point favor. I forgot to mention, but yes, go on. That's kind of important, Kyle. It is. But that, I'm still picking Ohio. That's your job is to let people know. The... I know. Okay. Uh, so not only is Ohio uh, significantly better against the spread, um, once again, going nine and three, they're on a huge streak. Um, they've not missed the spread since October. Since the beginning of. Uh, they've not missed the spread October or November. Last time they missed last time they missed on the spread was um, against an FCS school and they just, right, well, I feel, they just, I feel they just didn't great. beat them by enough. I so, feel great about my pick then, Jared. Hold on. I'm not even done yet. Toledo on the other hand is on a five game losing streak against the spread. They also lost to Bowling Green. Well, yeah. Just saying. <laughs> just, just saying. Um, Yeah. But if we're looking at like, spread analysis on this one all arrows point to ohio uh let's 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 keep rolling with that give me ohio give me the bobcats to win and cover all right that a boy jared all right well, well, well i mean next... they're toledo's favored so obviously they would win in win and cover it's kind of all right it's kind of dumb right, for me other, to say it the other, new, the other the other noon game here uh where's austin Austin should be chiming in here right now. Uh, we're talking about his his team right now. Uh, Kansas State and TCU, the Horned very, Frogs. It's a very purple game. I think that needs to be that needs to be acknowledged right up front. It's a very purple football game. It is a very purple football game. Uh, Kansas State TCU noon game, and TCU is a two and a half point favorite. I don't. I just don't see TCU falling in the trap here. Again, pretty much a pick 'em game here. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that it's going to be TCU here. Both of these teams excellent against the spread this year. Uh, Kansas State eight and three, TCU nine and two. Uh, both teams have had good recent success against the spread. Um, when when uh looking at like spread analysis these teams to seem to be mostly pretty evenly uh, he's he's abandoning his horn frogs this week look at that austin's abandoning his horn frogs um yeah i i don't know i i don't have a strong feeling either way on this one so i'm going to once again like i did with usc and utah when in doubt, pick the underdog. I'm I'm gonna roll K Kansas State on this one because if you're gonna Ooh. give me if you're gonna give me if you're gonna give me points to take Kansas State, I'm gonna take Kansas State. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, just looking here. All right. By the way, this has no this has no bearing on Ohio State. No. Is, as long as USC loses, it's a debate. If USC wins. And TCU loses, but by the way, like we'll know ahead of time, right? We'll know ahead of time. Um, I I don't feel good that Ohio State gets in over TCU. It's possible. I won't say it's not possible, but I don't know. 
God, how how awful would TCU fans be? There would be second time that this happened. Now, two, second time this all happened. Yeah. Ah, get over it. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't be purple. Maybe. Nah, no. I'm kidding. I like right, speaking of purple. We got we got another team in purple. We're going to talk about LSU. LSU in Georgia and the SSA championship. Alabama less championship game. Now, when was the last time? And it would have to be like. Urban Meyer at Florida. That like the SEC East was this big of a favorite in this game. Uh this big of a favor? Mm, yeah, maybe. What was the last what was the last time the SEC East team was a double digit favorite? Uh Georgia's favored by Tennessee or Tennessee, favored by 17 and a half in this game. 17 and a half. I I don't know. I'm I'm not gonna try to look. But, I'm not asking uh, you to. I'm not asking you to. It's yeah, just, yeah, it's noteworthy. It's, a, it's, it's, it's noteworthy probably, is probably, all. Probably a while here. But yeah, Georgia 17 and a half here. Man, that's, that's a lot of points, Jared. That's a lot. And I, and I think LSU's, LSU's not a bad team. They're, they're not, but they're inconsistent. Half, yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's a good way to put that there. Very inconsistent, but man, it, I'm I'm going to pick LSU to cover, but I think Georgia wins this easily. 17 and a half is a lot. Kyle, I, I completely agree with you. I, I wish maybe I could bring a little bit more drama to this, but yeah, Georgia's just not been performing lately. I mean, they're winning. That's all that matters. They didn't look great against Kentucky. They didn't look great against Georgia Tech. Um I it's almost like they they beat Tennessee and then just sort of threw it in the neutral. Um, yeah, I mean they beat Mississippi State by a fair amount, but whatever. Um, the uh, thing is, though, when when Georgia plays a really good team, when they feel, when they're like locked in, you know, they beat Tennessee by fourteen, they beat Oregon by forty six. Uh, they beat uh, Florida, who we thought was good at the time, um, by by 22. When it's a good team, they seem to lock in. So that might lean me a little bit more towards Georgia. Um, but like I said, they just they seem a little off right now. They They don't seem to be clicking on all of their cylinders. So. I am going to say that Georgia wins this football game. Like I have like no doubt about that, but the 17 just feels a little too big. So I am going to take LSU to cover. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know much about this one here. Uh, and that is the, uh, the American. The yeah. American championship game. Man. Kyle, you, you, you're not studied up on central Florida and Tulane. No. Hell no. <laughs> Come on, Kyle. Be a degenerate like the rest of us. Uh, Tulane's the three and a half point favorite here. Uh, just looking at the looking at the numbers here, it looks pretty even. Looks very, very even here. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of like your rule, Jared. I think I think we're gonna. I think we're just going to pick the underdog here. I'll, I'll go with the UCF here. I just my first, just my first instinct is to pick the underdog in this game if it's if it's pretty even. Kyle, Tulane is ten and two against the spread this year. They're also ten and two in the record. Yes, and Kyle, guess what? The two games they didn't cover. They lost. They lost. Kyle, right. guess what? The first game was against Southern Mississippi all the way back in September 24th. Forget about that. The last time that they didn't cover and, and lost 
was against UCF. UCF, you see, you said you didn't know anything and you weren't studied up. Look at you. Look at me. Look at you. Um, yeah, they lost that game by seven points. Lost the game by seven points. Um, yeah, look at us. Exactly, Austin. Look at us. By the way, he's wearing purple. Just pointing that out. Pointing it out. He's wearing purple. Right. Who do you got, Jared? Who do you got? <laughs> You're milking it way too much for this kind of game. You're milking it. Who do you got? I'll dare you suggest I'm milking it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Tulane here. I, I think it's very difficult, very difficult to beat a team twice in the same year. Uh it was a close game before it was only seven points. Um and uh yeah, Tulane just has an excellent against the spread record this year, so I'm gonna go with Tulane. All right. All right, and our final two games here. Uh Austin, you're Clemson. wrong. Ohio's gonna win. Yeah. Clemson and UNC for the ACC championship game where Clemson is a seven and a half point favorite. But like all, all of my other picks here, I'm going with my heart here. And I can't, I just can't, I just can't uh, pick Clemson. So I'm going to go with the Tar Heels. Can't pick Clemson? No, I can't. Can anybody, can anybody in the chat here pick Clemson? Saying if you're going to, if you're going to like yeah. a game you can't pick, I want to yeah, exactly. save that one. I want to save exactly. that one. Jared, are you picking Clemson to cover? Why? Why would you just ask me so directly like that? You know that's I, how I am. I, I'm direct. But I'm, I'm not. Direct, but I'm I not. Know. I'm going to milk this for at least five minutes. <laughs> Hi, let's put <with> direct TV. <laughs> uh, both these the teams. <laughs> we're giving you free HBO because we're owned by the same company now. Um. Yeah, bo both of these teams are basically 500 against the spread this year. Not not a much analysis on on that one. Um, both of these teams have been pretty spotty against the spread this year. Um, <laughs> do you want to upgrade to a college football plan? Root for Utah, or just like the the, the playoffs coming, the super playoff, not not this pseudo playoff. The super playoffs coming. Um, yeah, I don't know. Both of these teams feel like they're on a slide right now. They, both these teams feel like they're on a really bad slide right now. It's it's going to come down to who actually still cares. Um, UNC superior offensively, Clemson superior defensively. I'm quite frankly at a complete loss on this one. So seven and a half points to take UNC. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. When in doubt, give me the underdog. All right. That a boy, Jared. That a boy. All right. In the last game here, Kyle is Kyle. What? I don't need what? your approval. I don't need your approval. Well, you can go to hell. Um, <laughs> speaking of going to hell, uh, this last game here, Purdue and the team up north or Purdue is a 15 and a half point underdog in this game. All right, Jared, 15 and a half points. That's a lot. That's a, it's lot, a lot here it's for, a lot. for a uh, conference championship game here. And I got numbers here, Jared. Oh, I got numbers. I'm the one that normally brings the numbers in these situations. All right. Um, the only number I have here is I'm comparing. I'm going to compare just <laughs> so, one, so we're down. So we're down to one number. <laughs> I'm going to compare one game. I'm going to compare one game here. All right. And that and that's a recent game here between these two teams of Illinois. Purdue beat, beat Illinois 31 to 24. And Michigan only beat Illinois 19 to 17. That's only two points, Jared. They only beat illinois by two points but yet purdue beat them by a whole touchdown 
So fuck it, go Boilermakers. I'm picking them as my under as uh, picking Purdue to cover. But who's gonna win? That's not what we're doing here. Jerry. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I don't know. It's uh, Michigan has covered, with the exception of Illinois, one, two, three, four, five times in a row now. Um, they just barely, and then you could add a sixth because like they just barely missed against Indiana. Um, I don't know. You have Purdue has had success this year offensively at times, but this Michigan defense is stout. It's, it's a lot. And I think they're just going to, this is going to be a Michigan game. This is going to be a Michigan game. The game's going to be probably pretty tight at halftime. Um, and then they'll pour it on at the end because Purdue just doesn't have, just doesn't have any, anything left in their legs and they'll tack on some extra points at the end and they will, uh, Michigan will win and cover on this one. I don't like saying it, but is what it is. This is a good Michigan team. Sorry. Uh, what's I'm picking, I'm, pick, I'm picking with my heart here. So that's fair. <laughs> What's fun is that by this point, we will likely know if Ohio State is getting in the playoffs so we can hate watch. Oh, no, we'll know. We'll, we'll know. We'll know by, I'm hate watching uh, regardless. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll know by the um, the SSA uh, championship game. No, oh, by Friday. I mean, there, there is there is a slight chance. Yeah, TCU, TCU, maybe TCU, maybe the only Garrett. So you say what's fun by this point, we'll likely know if Ohio State, if it's TCU, it's just like, "Ah, well, now we just have to wait for the playoff committee to to let us know if it's USC. I feel like Ohio State's in at that point. If USC loses, Ohio State's in. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's what I believe. TCU. We just got to sweat it out at that point. You just got to sweat it out. Like you just got to wait until Reese Reese Davis tells us. If TCU gets blown out, which is possible, that helps a lot. I agree. That would help. It would help a lot. Um, Is Kansas State blown out many teams this year? For what it's worth. I don't think I still have that open. I don't think I still have that open. Um, Kansas State was up 21 against TCU in that game. That, yeah, we know how that ended. Mm. I don't know. No, no lead is no lead is safe in the Pac-12 or in the Big 12 either, either or. But yeah. Yep. All right. And that is all seven picks here, Jared. That's. All the games here. Is there is there any other games that's going on here? Army uh, Navy is happening. Nope, that's the following week. That's right. That that is correct. Um no. Akron and Maybe? Buffalo. Akron and Buffalo are playing because of a cancellation. Um there are other conferences playing. Other talking than about Fresno, Fresno State and Boise State. Uh, not particularly. What about <laughs> Kyle has to look closer. Coastal Carolina and Troy. That, that actually might be fun. That that actually might be fun. Yeah, coastal is fun. Exactly. Or North Texas and and the U- University of Texas at San Antonio. I I know the answer to this one. I know the answer to this one. You lost me at North. <laughs> Kyle, University of Texas, San Antonio. And I need you to look directly into the camera. Yep. 
No, not at me. Into the camera. Mm-hmm. What's their mascot? It's the Roadrunners. Okay. No hesitation, Jared. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. None. North Texas. Yeah. What? What is North Texas? Do you know, Jared? I just asked you. Well, it's the Mean Green. Yeah. Is it? Come on, Jared. I don't know. Jeez. I, I honestly didn't know that one. I knew I knew San Antonio. All right. What, what's what's? Well, I thought they were. I thought they were like a an eagle or a bird or something. Is that what's in their logo? The big, uh, the mean green. Or am I confusing I, that with a different directional Texas? I don't remember. It's I don't care. Yeah. Whatever. All right, Jared. I think that's it. I think that's all the the picks for today. Uh, yeah. Anything else you want to add? Uh, no. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Fuck Michigan. Fuck Michigan, yeah. indeed. Yeah. There we go. Um, there we go. I just remembered, by the way. We're almost one of my favorite episodes of the year. And I just because we're running, we're running short on this one. Um, I wonder if our bowl preview is one of my favorite episodes of the year. Um, because not only do I ask Kyle who he thinks is going to win, but I also give him two possibilities for what the name of the bowl is. And he has to guess. <laughs> Kyle, I don't think we did that last year. I don't think we did that last year. We did. We did? Okay. I don't. It's kind of the best. It, yeah. Well, you're, you, we didn't in 2020, I don't think. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's it there. Yeah. Well, and Kyle, what I want to ask you, what I want to ask you. All right. Are you interested in changing it up this year? And you doing it and Ooh. making me guess, or do you want to keep the tradition going? I don't know. Let's you want, you want to put up to the uh, sloop cats, make Jared look stupid. No, uh, Kyle, no, <laughs> no, Kyle. I would like you to make a fucking decision. All right. Well, we'll, 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 we'll let you guess. We'll let you guess. All right, we'll change it up. We'll change it up. Um, well, We'll, we'll 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 make yeah we'll we'll stump Jared and make him look dumb. By the way, well, and one of the reasons why I think I want to change it up is because you fucking killed it last year. Like, you had just gotten a little too good at it over the years, and it's not as fun when you're actually good at it. <laughs> so, it might be a little more fun since. Maybe you caught my rhythm. Maybe you just got really good at knowing what the bowls were. Um, may maybe for whatever reason, we didn't have a lot of sponsor because that the sponsorship change ups is always what gets us right. Um, yeah. Well, there's been a couple of change ups too. There's a lot of bowl name changes this year too, Jared. I know. I know. I'm setting myself up for failure. But setting myself up for failure is let's that's where the comedy comes from, right? Like it's not. I have to not let Kyle do this anymore because he got too good at it. And while there are a lot of bowl name changeups this year because of sponsorships and whatnot, I'm at least a little bit afraid that he caught my rhythm and he was metagaming me. Because if he was metagaming me last year, then he'll metagame me again this year. So just in case Kyle completely figured out my rhythm. You know, I figure maybe we change it up. So that'll be fun. All right, Kyle. Do um, you have anything? Good call, Kyle. You know, it was my idea, right, Austin? Like, Kyle chose, but <laughs> it was my idea. I heard Kyle make the decision. No, no. I'm not. <laughs> Good job, Jared. See? Look what you did. Look what you did. I'm, ti I'm tired of the disrespect. Tired of the disrespect. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? Uh, yeah, right before we hit record, we watched the Buckeyes basketball 
little of a basketball team play, and I thought they played they played okay. They played okay. Uh, I thought they had a chance to to beat down Duke, but uh, yeah, foul trouble and turnovers and it's not that. finishing. They they left so many they let they left so many just on the rim. Yeah, it's the turn. Yeah, the turnovers too is what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killed them there. They had a chance to really win that win that game. So, I mean, it's it's a lot of upside to look at a at a loss here, uh, which is I think I think I saw here like um, last year. Yeah, last year they beat Duke, which was um, yeah I think the past two times. No, it was the past two times. I think every time that Ohio State has recently lost to Michigan, they beat Duke. We thought it was going to happen again this year, but nope, it didn't. I was hoping I was hoping that was going to be the case, but not worth it. Yeah. Not it's worth okay. it. No. Uh, no, but that's 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 it. That's it. Um well the other the other interesting thing here we're gonna really keep an eye out is uh is Brian Hartline going to be uh interviewing for the head coaching position over at Cincinnati. Yes. He is interviewing. Can everyone yes. stop freaking out about the fact that he's interviewing? That's it. Like freak, freak out. Like you can get upset if he gets the job, but like he's just gonna go interview. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I don't know why people are freaking out. Listen, I love Brian Hartline. Adore Brian Hartline. Hope he stays. Hope he stays forever. But. Um, he's, I don't think he's qualified to be the, the head coach at, at Cincinnati. And especially with Cincinnati going to the big 12 here, is it not next year, but the following year? It's, it's next year. Oh, it is next year. Yeah. That's, ooh, ooh. yeah, that that's asking a lot. I think we should promote him. He's already a co-coordinator. He's the passing game coordinator. Um, he needs to be the play caller. Maybe. Um, but my point is this, is that like, he's only been a coach for four years. Three of those years was as a position coach. The fourth year he spent as the third offensive coordinator. The third offensive court, because like Ryan Day is the first offensive coordinator. Kevin Wilson's the second cord offensive coordinator. Just saying. Yep. All right. That's it, Jared. That's all I got. Jeff Saturday was a stay at home dad three weeks ago and won an, uh, and won an NFL game five days later. And like, did they hand him the keys to the kingdom? Is he like the head coach for now and until the foreseeable future? You're going to tell me experience doesn't matter. I'm just saying Cincinnati. Cincinnati is not Bowling Green. Bowling Green would hire Bowling Green would hire Brian Hartline last year. They just would for the clout, if nothing else. Cincinnati's a big boy program. Yep. Bowling Green would hire a squirrel. If that squirrel could recruit, yes, they would. Yeah. They sure would. All right, Jared, go, go ahead and right. hit us out here. All right. Tonight's ending music brought to you by a Cincinnati based band called Mother Folk. Uh, they're fun. You'll like them. Stick around. Listen, if you're listening to the audio version of this, just keep listening. And if you're uh, watching on YouTube, there will be a link down below where you can listen to the song. We can't join the Sloop Cats. Oh, you know what? Yes. We've had uh, a few new Sloop Cats join recently. Uh, Pac Northwest Buck joined recently. And um, we I think we already introduced... I think we already introduced our last guy last time. Um, 
and that was also great. So yeah, added a few new recently. Um, pay Jared $3, pay Kyle $7. I don't think you understand, guys, how a profit share works. <laughs> but yeah, uh, patreon.thesloopcast.com. And then there's also uh, just come join the Discord server at discord.thesloopcast.com. The Discord server is uh, mostly free. I mean, it's free. There's lots of free channels. Um, the, Ohio, the, the Ohio State football channel is free. There are some premium. Se- there is a premium section which again, you can get access to at that $3 Patreon tier. Um, it's like 75 to 80% free. Yeah. Um, and then on top of that, additional benefits are you can uh, watch us record this live, which is exclusive to our uh, Patreon members. Um, if you can't or don't listen to us live, you get your own RSS feed for your podcast app. You can paste it into your podcast app. And that way you avoid all of those annoying Spreaker ads that play before the show. If you're listening to the audio version of this. So, you know, you get an ad free experience uh, on the audio version. You get to uh, watch us live. If you choose, you get premium access to the discord server. There's other stuff too, that I'm just not even remembering. Oh, the, the additional episode, the paywalled episode, Sloop Cats only. Kyle, I haven't had it. I, Kyle did one solo. I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. How'd it go? It was an episode. <laughs> I, I, All, I, I think honestly, were, I, on, I, isn't that most? I, isn't that most Sloop Cats only's? <laughs> yes, it was an episode. <laughs> it, it was an episode. It, it was a thing, and it happened. Yep. All right, that's it. That's the end of the show. Once again, mother folk sending us out. Uh, so with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, mother folk. <laughs>